Smartphones, are they really ruining children's brains? We've reported on a paper authored by over 100 researchers that aim to reach a scientific consensus on the potential harms posed by smartphones and social media use in young people. Around 90% of the researchers agreed that adolescent mental health is declining and that smartphone and social media use can cause sleep problems. More than half supported commonly discussed policy actions like banning phones in schools or putting age restrictions on social media. Just on those numbers alone, it all sounds pretty definitive and like there's some sort of consensus here. It does, but then reporter Chris Stoker-Walker and I started digging into those numbers. Despite the support for those policy actions, over 90% of the researchers agreed that we don't actually have any scientific evidence to suggest that they would be beneficial to teenage mental health. Ah. And when Chris started asking outside researchers for their views, so people who hadn't been involved in putting together this consensus statement, that's when all the arguing started. Oh dear. Yes, so a lot of the claims in this paper uh, were drawn from the book The Anxious Generation by Jonathan Haidt. His book argues that smartphones have caused an epidemic of mental illness in young people, but other researchers have heavily criticised it, pointing out that we just don't have a robust statistical link to support this claim. And in fact, one of my favourite studies in this area from a few years back found that screen use is statistically about as bad for a teenager's mental well-being as eating potatoes. I guess both you could say involve a dependency on chips. Oh. No, no, okay, quickly moving on. 